Welcome back to Ringside Superbouts. Now, Conti Finnegan 2 had taken a year but a day to materialise. It was as eagerly awaited a match as any in British boxing history. Once again, all three titles were on the line. Once again, Finnegan was ready to give his all, and once again, there was a packed house to watch it all unfurl. This time, it was rather unsatisfactory. It's cost about £50,000 to bring these two together again. And if the fight's like the one they had exactly one year ago, with Conti coming out the winner on points, if we see another one like that, then it'll be worth every penny of Harry Levine's money. Conti, the triple champion, British, Commonwealth and European light heavyweight champion, in this sparkling, smart rig with his name down the side of the trunks and already scored one psychological victory by coming into the ring in a brand new spangled sequined dressing gown a silver suit of lights shimmering under the arc lights here and putting Finnegan's green robe almost to shame so the psychological blow perhaps struck by Conte the younger man back of Conte's dressing gown was Man of Destiny, picked out in French. <laughs> Finnegan, now close to 30 years old. Conte will be 23 next week. After 15 rounds a year ago, Conte was the winner by a margin of three rounds. The fight is notable for the tremendous battle put up by Finnegan. Finnegan with the Union Jack on one leg of his trunks and a shamrock on the other, denoting the Anglo-Irish background. And these two sensing, I think, that this could well be another 15 rounder. And there's no haste. Conte in right on the limit of 12 stone 7 and Finnegan a pound lighter. For Finnegan that's surprisingly heavy. Nothing in the opening round. Well this is the young man John Conte from Liverpool who in the space of about two and a half years has really brought himself from being just another fighter albeit a good one, to the status of star quality. Tremendous following. The man's got charisma, a certain magic about him, and he backs it up when he performs in the ring. He's got style and class in his boxing, and he also carries a pretty fair dig. Conte, whose last chance this might well be to stay in the big time of light heavyweight boxing close to 30 years old, if he were to lose tonight, or lose badly, then he might find it very hard to get back into the real big time. Second, so the first round seemed really as a feeling out to a round and nothing more. Finnegan's eyebrows, heavily greased. He's had trouble with that right eye. It was cut in their first fight a year ago.
front here with three titles at stake but much more than that because if you were to lose this then away goes the promised chance of a fight for the world championship against Bob Foster of the United States later this year. Conti is quick to see the chances to put the punches in when Finnegan comes to him. Finnegan at 12 stone 6 tonight is a pound and a half heavier than he was in their first fight. And in fact, that is surprisingly heavy for Chris. He's normally 12-3, 12-4, 12-4 12-6 is surprisingly heavy. So clearly he's not looking for speed, Finnegan. He may be looking for strength, durability, or perhaps a little more punch. body of Conte, putting him to the test. Wait. Quick punches from Conte, quick, sharp, rather cutting type punches into the face of Finnegan. But not many of them yet. Caught by left hand. Not been a bad round this for Finnegan. Conte pushed the head of Finnegan back. Finnegan's tried more punches. He's taken the initiative more, and I would think he's probably shaded the round. Oh, what a marvellous career Finnegan has had ever since he won that gold medal in the 1968 Olympic Games in Mexico City. From there, he turned professional quite late in life, really but has made it a success story practically all the way. This is his 33rd fight tonight, Finnegan. 26 wins behind him, one draw and five defeats. So the early honours perhaps have gone by shade to Finnegan, who's been quite willing to take the initiative. Conte content to bide his time, waiting for the most part. Finnegan showing his strength inside, pushing the man back. Finnegan's had only one fight since they last met, and that was when he well beat the American Mike Quarry here at Wembley in November. showing strength and a good deal of determination in these early rounds. And he's finding Conte with these straight punches. A long way to go, but a good start by Finnegan. Conte, of course, we think carries the heavier punch. There's a lot more venom behind the punching of Conte when he lets it go. Seven years young. There's one low one there from Finnegan.
there isn't any doubt in my mind now after the first two and a half rounds or so that Finnegan here is putting this young man to the test tonight. He wants to see if Conti can really take it, if he can hand it out. out of the lethargy Conti had to reply he couldn't stand around and get hit and this is boiling up into what looks to be at least as good a fight if not better than their first one This is a bold start by Finnegan, who stand, staged such a grandstand finish last time. And here he is setting a hard pace at the beginning here and putting these straight punches across, catching Conti again and again. And at one point, they're absolutely stinging Conti into a savage reply. No signs of facial damage for Finnegan, we're glad to say. He got his right eye cut last time. And in a fight before that with Rudy Schmidtke, when he lost his European title, his nose needed five stitches. So he suffered a bit of facial damage in the past. John Conte, a little vulnerable to right hands. He's been dropped uh, a couple of times in his professional career, once by Bill Drover, and more recently by Tom Boggs. Again, Finnegan with his eyes liberally greased. Roland taking the referee, saying nothing about it. Sometimes they ask them to wipe it off. three titles that the young man holds. They all belong to Finnegan at one time. And Finnegan from Ivor in Bucks has got the support here tonight. Far outweighing the support for Conte. finding its way lightly but nonetheless accurately to the head of Conte this young triple champion staying cool again Finnegan's right eye just beginning to show some slight signs of uh, wear and tear there's a little mark just beneath it and there's a slight puffiness around the right eye. This is the one that gave him trouble last time. It looks to me as though Finnegan has come to do the sort of battle tonight that he did with Bob Foster in this ring when he tried to win the World Heavyweight, uh, the World Light Heavyweight title. The greatest fight of his life Finnegan put up that night got knocked out in the 14th round from exhaustion as much as anything else.
watching Sky Sports. The atmosphere in this fight now beginning to build. You can sense the tension in this Wembley Arena. With Conti's three titles at stake, Finnegan having made a good start. And the question's now beginning to loom. Can he keep it up? Will his right eye hold up? Will Conti's superior punching power tell in the end? All these questions now unresolved, but forming the basis of a very good argument indeed. That's a good right hand, followed right through there by Conti. Finnegan must have felt it. trained like the very devil for this and it's written all over him cast iron determination here to get those titles back really imposed himself on this fight. And when he attacked there, he was brought up short by the punches of Finnegan. yet quite a third of the way through this. Finnegan never missing any opportunity to slam the right hand out. First signs, perhaps, on Conti's face and in his demeanor of an anxiety to do something good. And he's throwing punches and he's being made to miss. And after five rounds, there isn't any question that Conti has got to raise his pace and do something better. And Finnegan is cut and he's cut badly. Finnegan's left eye is gone. End of the fifth round, it's not the right eye, it's the other one that's gone. And there's booing coming up now through this crowd at Wembley because clearly some people felt that that wasn't done with a punch. I wouldn't like to say, but cut he is. So once again, Finnegan handicapped, just as he was in the first fight with Conte, with a cut eye. If I remember rightly, it happened round about the sixth round last time, so it's near enough the same time. So suddenly, with Finnegan looking to be very much in command, the whole scene changes. Roland Dakin takes a quick look. All is well. And Finnegan's coming up for the sixth. But badly handicapped. That is not... That is not a very good cut at all. It's a very bad one. sees the chance and if he needed a psychological spur he's got it staring him in the face and already there's a smear of blood above Finnegan's eye Roland Dakin keeping his eyes very firmly fixed on Finnegan's face. And Conte is a changed man. Eight. 
from looking lethargic and anxious now Conte is sensing and looking for victory Finnegan's eye bleeds and the two forget boxing for a moment and it's just sheer hard slugging inside now the heat of battle really turned on full pitch and there's blood around the other eye as well now I don't know if it's coming from the left eye but there's certainly blood on the right eye as well It might be spread around by the gloves. And all this roughing up inside isn't doing Finnegan's eyes any good either. And these two have forgot everything now except the primitive instinct to fight. And Finnegan's other eye has gone very badly and it's all over. It's all over. And the crowd don't like it. Finnegan is in a shocking mess. Both eyes gone. That savage bout of infighting started it all on the other side. And while Conti proclaims victory for himself, so one or two people throw programs and sweet cartons into the ring. There's anger coming from outside the ring. Jubilation for Conti and nothing but despair and sadness for Finnegan who really is badly cut up about both eyes so a dramatic sensational end of this fight Conti's kept his titles but he kept them when Finnegan's eyes went and there is bad feeling between the two of them well a second win for Conti but as I said rather unsatisfactory a crack of heads causing that terrible cut, the blood flowing freely into his eye. The referee had no option but to stop the fight. Well, that's all for this week, but in next week, Conti's finest hour. Undoubtedly, that WBC light heavyweight title victory over Jorge Ahumada, the tough Argentinian. So see me next week for that one.